Okay, so yesterday in my VNC video that I made, um, I got this comment from Sean Tanu KJ. Um, he said it's nice to see VNC working fast, but I think you can try No Machine, which may work faster. He gave the download link right here, and then I said thanks. I'll take a look at it, and then um, so what I did is I went to the No Machine website on my computer. And I just downloaded it for Windows and then set it up. And then I went and installed it on my Pi. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. And then I just connected it from here. And what you can do is you can go, uh, you go to the side right here. I first made it big like that. And you see that little page? Click display and full screen. So. As you see, this is one thing VNC didn't have. So, with no machine, I can use my whole screen. There's no black things on the side. I get the whole display. Um, and I tested out it, tested some, not that much, but I really like this. Like, it's better than um, VNC by a lot. I'll show you my testings too, and you'll see what I mean. So, you just go to the No Machine website on your Raspberry Pi. And then... Where was it? Maybe here. And then you just go to Download. Down No Machine for Raspberry. So, I have a Raspberry Pi 4, as you know. There is options for a Pi 2 and a Pi 3. So, what you need to do for a 4... If you're running 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS or any 32-bit OS that is based on Debian or um, Ubuntu, download this one, RMV7. Be see, when I click on it, it's going to say RMHF, which means 32-bit. And if I click on this, RMV8 Deb, it says ARM64. So if you're running a 64 operating system 64 bit you can download this one and use that but i'm on 32 bit raspberry pi os right now so all i do is go to this rmv7 deb click on it and then i go down and i hit download and it starts downloading it So Chrome, Chromium gives this kind of error, or just click, just click keep, and you'll be good. And then I can just open up my file manager, and if I go to downloads, see I already downloaded yesterday. So all you're gonna do is you double click on it, and it comes up with this. Do you want to install this file? As you see, I already have it installed, so. I'm not going to do it again, but all you do is you click install, and it installs no machine for you. It's that easy. And then you just uh, connect it from your um, PC, Mac, or Linux PC, whatever one you want, and you should be good. So, I'll show you why I think no machine is a lot better than VNC. I am over Ethernet, so these type of things do work over internet so with the ethernet your performance is going to be better but it will work with wi-fi so i'll just type in the classic make it big got it's huh, like a little glitch there but oh yeah with VNC I I was getting this kind of error off snap with the YouTube sum so it does work better if you just leave it in small mode Yeah, so YouTube is a bit choppy, um, but it is better than yesterday's one. I can tell you that, definitely. 
So, I mean, you might not want to watch YouTube like this, but it's not terrible. It's okay. But, um, web browsing is perfect. As you see, that Amazon loaded up super fast. I can just click on stuff and it works. Yeah, so performance is nice with um, Chromium. Uh, let me show games. So in my last video, I had shown um, Revolt. And I had shown the performance of, um, how it wasn't the best. And you'll see now how it, how it has improved. Like, in yesterday's, it was so glitchy and unplayable. But here, even when I'm set it, setting it up, with all these turns and stuff, it's still working great. So as you see, Revolt is totally playable on this. On VNC, not at all. But on this no machine, it is great. So I'm just turning around. And I did install this from Picus. Okay, that's enough. So now I'm just going to quit out, but, like, the performance is so nice. I would have played that on here. Yes. And I'm out now. Um, so, I'll just... I was just seeing if I should install it. I'll install Super Mario 64. Just go from install from binary. And it installs it super fast. And you just hit enter. Look at that. Yeah, so, I'm not gonna go into the whole game of this, just, um, because it's, it runs well, as you see already, so, that's good for now. Um, apps, all apps work great, gparted, and all of that. It just loaded right up, as you saw. Terminal, so I can go sudo install nail fetch. So that will tell us all, all of. Oh, it's already installed. <laughs> so, see the Pi logo, and it shows how long I've been using it. 21 minutes. Um, it's LXD. Yeah, so this is a very useful tool. Yeah, so this is the same exact build of Raspberry Pi OS I was using yesterday. Nothing special. Oh, let's see how. Um, yeah, so there's really nothing special on here. Um, I'm 
I'm just installing Raspberry Pi Imager. I'm just showing you guys that this is very usable and it's better than VNC. So don't use VNC. Use this. That's done. So system tools no, accessories imager and it just loads right up and you can use it to flash images so if i just click on that display full screen and now i'm small so what's really cool about this i can go around here use my computer um use chrome do whatever i need to do and then i can go back um to my raspberry pi use it like this make it full screen whatever one you want to do um and then i can just do this so that's really cool um and this is my um our discord server so please join it if you have any questions about anything um we can talk we can tell you about and try to answer them or um anything like that just please um it will be in the description and yeah so this is no machine um running on the raspberry pi the performance is great thank you to that comment yesterday um yeah so thanks for watching my video please like my video and please subscribe